year since the screened at NIF and it was a virtual year which meant unfortunately I wasn't able to come but I am here now which is brilliant. I mean it's really amazing to be in the company of these incredible talented writers. Um, obviously uh, I'm working on an adaptation of one of Mariana Enrique's short stories so we've never met before um, but I feel like I know her because I've been analysing her work so closely so it's really amazing that we've been able to come together for the first time ever at NIF. I'm really excited to see you know some new fresh genre blood. Um, I'm excited to just watch as many films as I can and and also obviously to experience this beautiful place. When I was so sort of thinking about the film initially, I was really interested in making a film about a film censor. I wanted to explore the idea of, you know, somebody kind of watching this, this kind of material that's supposed to deprave and corrupt our minds, and then questioning whether or not it was depraving and corrupting their mind. Um, but I quickly landed in the video nasty era because that was what was going on in society during that period in the UK. You know, everybody, society was being told that if you watch video nasties, then you're probably going to go out and murder someone. Um, and, and it's really interesting politically, socially, from this period came some amazing horror films and the video nasty band list became this kind of holy grail for horror fans because they were being told these films are going to warp your brain, which is obviously what every horror fan wants to happen when they watch a horror film, right? So uh, there were loads of reasons. I mean, a love for that period and also the way that I could explore our relationship with horror through setting the film during that period. I think we're seeing a generation of people getting to make their films at last who love horror films. And, and in the UK, there are a lot more female filmmakers coming through making their debuts and making horrors. But we're also seeing quite a lot of male filmmakers making horror. And I think that's a mixed thing. There's, on one side, the industry is being forced to look at itself and to make things more fair. Therefore, more women are actually getting opportunities that they didn't have before to make the films that they want to make. Um, but we're also seeing a much bigger interest in horror film generally. You know, in the UK previously, it was um, more drama focused and now financiers are much more open to, to genre films, which is really cool. 